I'm going to show you how to tie equipment to a task. Let's say you have to repair some equipment um, or you need to keep track of equipment inside of a task for some reason for one of your customers. I'm going to show you how that's done. The first thing is we need to go to the customer themselves. So let's take a look at uh, customer info, customer list. That'll show us the entire customer list. And then we're going to go into our first customer, Alfonso's Pizza. Once in there, we want to click on the Equipment tab. Now in here, you need to make sure that equipment's set up. If it is not set up, make sure you just click a new line here and add that piece of equipment. And make sure it's checked off as active. So once you have the equipment in here that you're ready to track, we want to create a task now. So if it's a repair task, whatever, we need to track it for whatever reason. We can click Create Task from right inside the customer detail or click Task Entry. I'm going to go ahead and click Create Task. And we're going to say this is a repair, repair order for equipment. We then would assign it to someone. And then we want to click on the tab that says Equipment. We want to hit Get Equipment. This will list every piece of equipment that if we look at our customer detail, as long as it's marked as active, they will all get thrown into the system here. If they are not marked as active, it's not going to load this piece of equipment on the task. Now let's say we loaded more equipment than we wanted. Let's say we just want this one piece right here along the top. We can go ahead and just select it. So select the one that you want to keep. The one that you don't want to keep, if you don't need it, just click the uh, gray box to the left. It'll turn black. Hit delete on the keyboard. So just kind of clean it up, make sure you have the equipment, the one piece or the multiple pieces that you need on the task, and select it as active here. So it'll stay in the task. Now from here, you just want to work a task as normal. If you need to send it to the web, you're going to go ahead, click close, sync mobile devices, select tasks, and hit sync. When it's done, that task will be up on the mobile side along with the equipment name. Um, the equipment will show up in its own little area. So let's say that that task has been worked. I'm going to go ahead and grab that task here. We'll say this is it right here, the task 1217. We go back into it. Um, let's say uh, we repaired the equipment. Say they gave you some notes to let you know that the, uh, the equipment has been repaired. Now we can just post this task to the notes if we don't need to charge. But if we do need to charge our customer for what we've done with their equipment, we need to go to line items. If the technicians did not add the charges here, you need to add the charge yourself for whatever you want to charge them for. I'm going to select a generic here. I'll, just, I'll select something generic for my drop down. Let's say we needed item six and it cost us $3 to repair that equipment. Once we have all that done and we're ready to bill the customer, like I said, we can either post the notes and it'll just close this and hold it for historical reasons, or we can click invoice to charge for the repair that we've done. If you hit invoice, it'll ask if you'd like to invoice. You can hit yes. The system will create a line item for notes on what the original issue was, along with, which will have no price, along with the item that we are charging for to get that equipment repaired. The last step is make sure QuickBooks is open and then post the QuickBooks to get your bills paid. You want to get that invoice in QuickBooks, just got to hit that post the QuickBooks button from here. But on top of it, we've now completed a task where we've charged for the equipment. We've got the charge in QuickBooks. We have the history that we've done work on that equipment. Maybe we need to know how to review that history at a later date. All you have to do is go back to your customer list. Double click that customer name, it brings you into the customer detail, and then click the equipment tab. And we have a big blue button that says view equipment repair history. Click on that, and you'll get the history for the equipment that you've repaired. There's a task that we did right there. The equipment name was radio. You'll see my past tests from other tasks. But we can see right here exactly what happened with that piece of equipment. If this has too many notes in here to see, you can click in and you can actually scroll down or up to see everything. And that's how you tie equipment to a task and how you charge for it.